World Trigger this week, well, I really do like the fact that this episode in World Trigger, not only do they talk about, um, they use this time wisely as in, they use this as a good time to go back and show how Mikamo pretty much, or Osamu, how he slowly, slowly, um, or at least what slowly led him into becoming a border agent. Even as, even is going as far as saying that like the only reason why he didn't necessarily become a border agent it wasn't the fact that he wasn't physically capable it was centered around the fact that he probably couldn't like summon a trigger in the first place and you know it does go through all these things of him like well of him of him just making like the split decision to say, well, now he's about to leave his house. And after Chica's brother was abducted by, abducted by, um, neighbors, it's like, he just made that split decision and said, yeah, I'm just going to do it. Then he left his house and just went on, just did it. You know, even going so far as to say, well, now I'm like, even though people, they say that I'm not cut out for it, I still have to do it. And it's actually rather funny too, how, how a lot of people sort of, saw Osamu too because because a lot of people they felt as though is that like he wasn't all that reliable of a border agent or at the very least is like he was gonna fuck up somewhere or he really or he was like a waste of an agent and shit like that which that this one little war here pretty much sort of showed showed a vast amount of characters in which that we have seen so far which just about every character in which that we have seen has pretty much visited him in the hospital. They've all been trying to like sort of check on him and see how he's been doing. And it's a thing of like, well, I think that speaks volumes to like most of the other characters in this series. Because even though he may not be the strongest character, even though he may not have the most trian, trian, triton, whatever, he doesn't have the most energy as everybody else but he still proved himself to be one of the more reliable assets upon like stopping the enemy from claiming what they wanted to claim even going so far as to sort of like even dealing with how he hit Chica's body away other than that though it's like I do like how this ends though with him waking up in the hospital and then we finally getting to see his mother and it's really rare to sort of see that in an anime to where like when when characters when they move away from home and then they're on their own you rarely see their parents and even the however I will say this though Osamu's mother does seem to be pretty she seems to be pretty cold and stern but at the same time it's like it's like I really wonder how she's going to react to her son being in the hospital because that's something that most parents that they don't really want to see but yet like she seems rather calm and reflected or at least like she's not she's not I would say she's not very angry she's not very emotional it's more or less like she's come to terms with it but at the same time I still want to see like how this is really going to play out because at this point I'm watching it to sort of see how him and his mother are going to interact and everything but that is what I gotta say about that though I know that this feels more like a nothing review but other than that just tell me what do you think about it down there in the comment section please please um if you like the video please like it and I'll catch you guys on the next John Graves show please keep watching anime keep playing keep playing video games sorry about that I'm out